I got involved with the Y by my son being involved in youth sports. I first um, came on as a board member uh, of the Metro Board, and my children had always, always played Y sports. My involvement with the Y started over 25 years ago. Um, my son, who's 30 now, took swim lessons and learned to swim at the Y, and then he went through the soccer program. And not long after that, um, I started volunteering with the Y to work to mentor some kids at a local school. 2010, join what was then the Yates Y Board, which is now Winston, and I've been a member ever since. I started back in 2005, I believe, and I was on the, the uh, Duval Regional Board, um, which then branched out to the Brooks YMCA Board, which I was the inaugural chair of and very much enjoyed it. And as of about a year ago, I joined the, um, the Metro Board uh, for the First Coast YMCA and been loving every minute of it. I've always been exposed to the YMCA even from a early, early in my childhood. I started as a Y Indian guide when I was six years old. And I, over the years, I saw my father uh, participate in the building of a community YMCA in our city. And later in life, I became a uh, YMCA camp counselor and I actually uh, worked as a YMCA lifeguard for a while. One of the reasons that I did choose the YMCA was because the sports program for my children were about community and involvement. I wanted them to learn that sports was not just about the win, it was also about teamwork, that you win with grace and you lose with pride and your team is a family. I chose the Y because the Y is for everybody. I didn't have the means to do high-end stuff and the Y provided an opportunity for everybody, no matter what your socioeconomic level at the time. And that's all the more reason to stay with the Y because they continue to do that for everybody. I chose the YMCA because I grew up by YMCA. I grew up going to YMCA as a kid. I grew up going there as, uh, in high school, after school, and the, the, y, the mission of the YMCA really, really speaks to me in not only the breadth in the community, but the depth of the impact it makes. There's a myriad of things that the YMCA does that really draws me to it. The donations, the gifts that we do, are just to be used wherever they're gonna benefit the community the best. I want it to be where it's needed. Growing up, I was that kid that I couldn't afford to play sports. I'm the kid that kids made fun of. I'm the kid that didn't have much. And I'm the kid that, without a YMCA, didn't get to play sports. So I always promised that if I ever was in a position where I could give back, I was gonna give back. And that's why I do what I do. I split my gift between a general gift to the to the Y in general because I think it does such a great job, and uh, half half of it goes to Tiger Academy, and that became my love. Tiger Academy is a um, gift to the community, unlike any I've ever known. It brings kids into an educational arena with a lot of responsibility. They are, they're required to really study, but it also nurtures them and helps them reach their full potential in an educational field that otherwise they, they may well have dropped out of. I have a very much a heart for the uh, Safety Around Water program, and so um, many of, of my donations and time speaking on behalf of the Y uh, go toward that project. I really think the, that, that kids uh, are where I like to, to uh, uh, really show impact. As a general rule, we just always tried to concentrate on our local community uh, YMCA and allow them to, you know, make the determination on where the funds are needed most. When we started giving, it was just an annual gift and the time just has gotten away from us. So we just, um, we're just so pleased that we could do it and help our community and help the other members of the Y for people who then would be subsidized or programs for the kids.
donating to the Y is one of the most um, fulfilling things you can do because you can see the difference you make. You can go to any of the branches. You can go to the to Tiger. You can go to the Johnson Y has an after school program for kids. To be able to support the work of the YMCA enables me to be a part of a dynamic force. I can be a volunteer, but I can't do much on my own. But working with professionals and with all the other volunteers, it makes a dramatic difference in Jacksonville in every quadrant, and I'm just so proud to be a part of it. I love that they are ever changing. As the community around us changes, they make the changes to provide the services where they're needed and to help those that, that need more help. So I love that they are nimble and redirect to wherever the most current needs are. There's so many facets to the YMCA. There's so many options um, that, that you have. If you do a good enough job and have a good enough time uh, impacting and serving your community, I think people will follow that. And the longer we can do it and every additional person we can get to join us, uh, the, the better we all are. YMCA has always, at least my experience, has been open to everybody, giving other people the opportunity, whether it's going to summer camps or, you know, evening basketball programs or, uh, or learning how to swim. And that's one thing that makes it really special. The Y, um, first of all, has a standard of excellence through decades that is um, respected by everyone and every quarter. There's no bias and there's no prejudice. And it also meets the needs of the community in down to earth ways that, that make a difference. And you know, we say we're strengthening the foundations of the community. We are, we're essential to the foundations. And if you can't do it yourself, you can be with a Y and help make it happen.